I'm Derek White. I'm the Assistant Director of Regeneration at Preston City Council. I've been working here for about 10 years now, coming up on. Uh, initially, that was mainly to do with area-based activities, so single regeneration budget, then subsequently neighbourhood management. Things that were about uh, community activities, stuff at a grassroots level, largely on housing estates in and around the city centre. Most of those projects um, were about improving facilities or improving opportunities for people uh, in deprived areas or with barriers to getting into the labour market, helping them to overcome those. And spicing that up with some projects on uh, health care, um, community safety and other things because it's obviously it's a continuum and one needs to then bring a package of things to, to it. Uh, as time's gone on, probably um, from about 2005, we've begun to place more emphasis on um, how can we increase economic activity in and around the area so as we can provide job opportunities for people to move into. Uh, and that's a two-edged uh, set of activity. One is about providing education and then job opportunities for people who have low skills or maybe no skills. And the other end of the spectrum is about how can we encourage types of economic activity in the area which are high value, which are the jobs of the future, um, that are linked to the university, to advanced engineering, um, to some of the, the large assets uh, like the nuclear industry, like British Aerospace that are based in the, uh, in the area. And over the past couple of years, that's changed in a further way in that we've recognised that the local authority district of Preston um, doesn't even cover what's called the contiguous urban area, i.e. you can go from Preston into South Ripple and indeed as far south as Chorley still being in the once urban area. And because that's a functional economic area, then we need to work on a three borough basis to try and uh, address the issues within that. And just before the end of the financial year, so end of March, we've now widened that out into what's called the Mid Lancashire um, multi-area agreement area, which is the strip that runs north-south from Lancaster down through Preston, South Ripple and Chorley into West Lanx. And we're working together as a partnership of authorities in that area, mainly focusing on things that are to do with north-south communications, because the strength of the um, Preston as a communications hub is one of the main reasons why businesses locate here uh, and why people like to live here. And secondly, uh, particularly around the economic impact of the university and its ability to generate both graduates and high value jobs. So my working time here has been a, quite a transition, starting with strong emphasis on the community level and then recognising that if we're to underpin that with jobs, we need to move more towards an emphasis on um, the generation of economic value and on working across a wider spatial footprint than just the neighbourhood level. So through all the different stages of this, how have you measured your <coughs> outcome as your goals have shifted along? Initially, it was mainly about can we see levels of deprivation on an area basis as measured through the index of deprivation? Can we see those dropping? Can we see unemployment rates dropping, um, in, particularly in the most deprived wards? Uh, and can we see uh, indices of health improving? And so that was the, the obvious uh, ones. Laterally, we've moved more towards um, amount of gross value um, added, generated in the area, uh, numbers of new jobs created and levels of economic activity within the population as a whole. Um, so those are some of the headline figures and those are some of the things, both sets of data, which will be being played into the local economic assessments which the government has recently established 
and which each local authority area will be obliged to draw up by the uh, by April 2011. Okay, um, so for us, um, we'll be working with the county council to pull together some of those economic assessments on a mid Lancashire basis. That's the strip from Lancaster down to West Lancs I was talking about earlier. Thank you.